2310 rear kitchen open range ultralight here Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. There are other RVs with similar layouts, but true to form open range always finds a way to outdo them in some way or another. Um, anytime these guys put their mind to something, they always come out shining with just a unique set of features that uh, can really be found nowhere else in the market. Keep in mind, the video uh, that we're looking at here might be different from the unit we have in stock. If you're just on YouTube, click down below here where it says for pricing and availability, click here. You can see the unit that we have, what we're asking for with its set of equipment because the equipment can affect the price tag. So what is different about the uh, 2310 uh, open range versus many of the other 24 foot-ish rear kitchens out there? First of all, standard nose cap. Other brands, you typically have to pay extra to upgrade to that, and often you will lose the front diamond plate. You uh, maintain both all the time on an open range. Secondly, this does have a standard um, insulation package. Underbelly is enclosed, forced air heated. There is extra insulation in the floor, the slides, the roof. You don't have to pay extra for that. That's just what comes in an open range. Nice front storage compartment here. They use a little bit different baggage door. Um, the seal is actually on the door, which um, helps with sealing uh, quite a bit. It also helps with the door not wobbling going down the road because it's thicker and insulated so that it doesn't want to you know, lose its shape. Now, another neat thing is the key alike system on your open range ultralight. All the keys, the door keys, baggage door keys, everything are the same key. You only need one key to operate your whole RV. Better components uh, are what allow open ranges to have twice the industry standard warranty. Um, stuff like this, aluminum screw trim taken straight from their high dollar fifth wheels as opposed to cheaper plastic screw trim. It's just a smarter, better uh, component. It does not cost less, that is a fact, but it is a better material. They're using the same king jack antenna system up there on the roof um, as, uh, you know, again, their fifth wheels. That's an aftermarket antenna system we've sold for years. It gives you superior picture quality, range, reception, more channels, and uh, you, you don't have to crank it up and down. It just is there. You don't have to worry about it. Um, a neat thing on your open range ultralights, they have the deepest slides in the ultralight business. A full, tr well, first of all, most ultralights, there's nothing wrong with this trailer behind us, but most ultralights have a small slide out like you're seeing there. This doesn't just have a full depth slide, it has a 39 inch deep slide that is three inches deeper than any other deep slide in the ultralight world. They're totally unique in that respect. Um, they're using an equal flex suspension system on this um, that uh, it helps soak shocks and jolts going down the road so it's not bouncy, it's not gonna be as porpoisey going down the road. It's gonna give you a nicer, smoother, superior towing experience. Um, they stick with uh, non-frameless windows here. That's how we tend to bring them in, just to give you that superior airflow, to give you all the airflow that you can. You can walk up to a lot of lightweights and you can thump on the walls but you can also thump on the slide out walls, the rear wall of an open range ultralight because it's got more lamination in place, which is just a better guarantee of better insulation, higher structural integrity. If something does not have laminated slide walls, that doesn't mean it's a piece of junk. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it could be. And the only way for you to know for sure is to kind of peel the skin off and dissect it and you know like a frog in a high school science class and see what it looks like to you. You don't have to worry about that here. Um, that's what I like about laminated slide walls. We have all LED, uh, well pardon me, LED uh, brake lights here. Um, they're, they're brighter and they're obviously going to last longer. They use something like 10% of the energy and last, I don't know, 100-ish times longer. Now. Um, we have not added the rear bumper grill to this unit, although it is always pre-plumbed with an outside grill connector. So if you have a grill you want to bring with you, even if you don't get the grill from the factory, you still have the place to hook it up. Uh, they put the biggest uh, slide out, or pardon me, biggest awning they could on this. Uh, if the awning went any further, it would cover up the front entry door. And that front entry door is a terribly unique critter in this layout. Um, there are, like I said, a few other guys that build a similar model, but uh, the front bedroom entry door is something that they're not required to put in by fire code. Open Range decided to do it to give you easier access to your uh, front bedroom, your bathroom, all that stuff. It's just easy. And this is a Solera Easy Adjust Power Awning. By Easy Adjust, what I mean is when the awning is out and it's flat, you can take two fingers, pull down on the awning, and it will pitch for you so that you can get that good rain runoff. Little outside TV hookup station right here, by the way. So if you got a little picnic table, kick it out here, you're all set. I mentioned before, but I will mention again, they do have double the industry standard warranty in any segment you find in open range, and that's very uncommon in the lightweight world. Uh, this door is also friction sprung. You can heave the thing, 
And notice how it didn't slam against the side of the trailer. It catches itself. That way you don't have it bash against things and break things up. Standard, larger uh, folding entry handle. Not uncommon in the lightweight world, but still not standard. So I like to point that out. Not standard across like every brand, I mean. Um, like I said, outside, keep in mind, little things on this may change. Um, features and specs change as the, uh, the model year wears on. Unless there's a massive change, I probably won't uh, update footage. But, uh, you know, keep in mind, um, you know, this is a free service we put together here with these videos. If uh, you appreciate what we're doing, all we ask is just a phone call and the opportunity to earn your business. Distance is not a disqualifier. We ship stuff to the Pacific Coast, Atlantic Coast, Gulf Coast all the time. That's what we do. We just need a chance to, to meet you. So cabinetry here. Uh, you notice that your um, doors are uh, um, hidden hinged so that when you close them, they have a nice clean look. This is all screwed together, not stapled together, the cabinet style, so uh, it's going to be far less likely to just rattle apart going down the road. Little stuff like this, though, it adds up. It's a couple bucks here and there, and, you know, it does add up. This will not be necessarily the least expensive lightweight on the market, but it's not nearly close to the most expensive, yet it has features no other lightweight has. Like, for instance, uh, we've got these uh, really cool... Uh, seamless countertops all over the place. They're um, pressed membrane molded. They don't have a T-mold where water can uh, seep into them. And you'll see that same material used everywhere. Even though it looks different, it's the same sealed edge material found everywhere else in the RV. Um, I do like the little driftwood wood tones, the, the different look in here. It just doesn't look like everything else in the market. It's not the same cherry wood that everybody else uses. Open range has always been one of the most, the most unique and, and highly innovative brands out there. Stuff like this, instead of just a dead vertical pocket, they actually build a vertical pantry that opens and comes out to you. It's just smarter, it's better, it's built with plywood, it's made to last longer. Um, down here we've got a drawer and a drawer just to maximize your total storage space going on in here. You've got storage below the sink. We have power outlets there to power your appliances. We have another power outlet under the kitchen cabinet. We've got more LED lights that I haven't even turned on yet. And that's another neat thing on the open ranges. First of all, I like the fact that they have backlight indicator lights. So if your exterior lights are on, you can see that right here. But you walk in, one switch. Pow, all the lights kick on, all the lights in the ceiling. Now we also have uh, a nice skylight in here to add some extra ambient light. So that if you're dry camping, you don't have to always burn up your battery. We have upgraded this from a standard jackknife style sofa to a full on trifold memory foam hide -a bed Now this is another area where this is a highly, highly unique trailer. This is a member of the only series of trailers that has ever had floor flush, 100% carpetless floor plans. Normally, to get a carpetless floor plan, you have to build the slide out above the floor and you have a toe kick that's about three inches tall and you have to step up into the slide out. It's not a big deal, but three inches makes a big difference in a slide out for sure. So having that extra space and making it easy to clean and look good is so, so handy. And because this is an extra deep slide out, the sofa is completely contained within the slide and doesn't uh, protrude into the rest of the floor plan. And still only, what, 5,045 pounds. Um, they have full storage above the slide here. And once again, you notice that all the storage is easy access, just better materials. All windows open for ventilation. All windows have privacy. And those are UV tinted windows on the outside, so it'll be cooler in the camper. You have more privacy, and it's not going to sun fade your furniture. They did something really smart here. Most of these rear kitchens have an entertainment center that is almost impossible to actually look at when you're sitting in it. They mounted the TV on a bit of an angle, and they used a nicer, higher quality uh, set of electronics here so that no matter where you're at, you always get a good look at the screen. We have a true dual zone entertainment center going on here, which is something I've not seen in any other lightweights ever. So the TV has a dedicated Bluetooth soundbar right here. Now your um, DVD Bluetooth CD player is right here. That'll also uh, uh, power your outside speaker. So you have a house entertainment system and then a direct living room entertainment system. That is very rarely found. And Furion's the most rugged, highly tested brand of electronics out there. This is not the cheap stuff they're putting in this. Um, you know, it's truly high def wire too, so you will get high def output. Um, they barrel the roof in here to open it up, make it feel a little bit larger, more comfortable, and it really does make a difference. 
more storage uh, above the uh, dinette seating once again opens itself up now they went with a, an l-shaped lounge not a traditional two bench dinette it's different some people are going to like it some people are not um I really like it personally, just because it's a little bit different and you know, you see the same things all the time. It is nice to see a different version of it. The table you notice is freestanding, so you can move that table anywhere you want, anytime. And we do have full storage under this bench here. You don't lose anything under that. Um, let's uh, move on to the bedroom and bathroom. I do like this. They have a uh, double entry bathroom here. Now what's cool is you can actually leave the bedroom closed with that same door and kind of have uh, a couple different ways of getting about it. This is this concept is not new. They stole this straight out of motorhomes and it's very smart. Now in the, you have a dual access bathroom. You can get to it from the bedroom or the hallway as we're in here. You can still slide that door closed, but if you notice that second entry door I was telling you about, it allows you to either hop in and out and grab a coat real quick, or let's say you're going down the road, hop in, go straight to the bathroom, and not have to monkey with slide outs. Um, we have that same sealed edge bathroom countertop here in the bathroom. You see that we have lots of leg room for big tall guys like me. We have a nicer foot flush stool, so it's just easier, nicer to operate. Now, a lot of lightweights you have to go through and flick light switches individually. You never have to do that on any main, comp uh, main room in an open range. They're using a fifth wheel size 29 inch radius shower. If you get a shower in a lot of other lightweight trailers, it is often a uh, uh, 24 inch angled shower, which is not bad. This is just bigger and we all generally assume that bigger is better and I can't really argue in this instance because a big guy like me, I can actually walk around in this bathroom in this shower comfortably. I can have my hands up washing my hair and not hit the shower walls. It's it's just a it's a big difference of user-friendly functional space. And um, the one thing I haven't talked about is how this has a giant linen closet in this little ultralight bathroom. And they did an awesome job with that because more storage is never the wrong answer. Over here in the bedroom, again, one switch, you know, flick of the switch, you get your lights. You don't normally get that in almost any trailer, especially a lightweight. You can uh, throw a TV against the wall up here, by the way, if you're so inclined. Um, the bed is unique in that it's a convertible queen. As we're looking at it, this is a 74 inch shorter camper queen. If you need a taller bed, that's why they include the six inch spacer block up here. Shove that up in the headboard. Your pillow will cover the seam. You'll never know it's there. And now we can have a full 80 inch queen bed. You can build whatever bed you want or replace this one with whatever else you want. Both sides of the bed do have um, stands with drawers. You see that we do have uh, charging stations and CPAP stations there. This side may, uh, adds the USB chargers. Over here we have residential plugs only. Twin reading lights uh, up under these overhead cabinets. Um, let's see, oh, the laundry chute even. There's a little laundry chute over here. You can keep a laundry basket in your pass-through storage. And uh, you, know, you just toss your clothes in there as you go. And when you're all done camping, you open your baggage compartment, grab your clothes basket, toss it in the washing machine, that's it. This is well thought out, well executed, easy, fun camping. It's a, a far more open, comfortable version of this floor plan that I've seen from a lot of other guys with some very unique qualities that are matched nowhere else in the industry. So give us a call. Every trailer is the best for a different reason. This one just has a lot of reasons. Um, 800-256-5196, Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We deliver stuff, like I said, coast to coast. We have hitching, pieces, parts, financing. We even have specialized towing vehicles in case you need a vehicle. And, I mean, we do it all, guys. Camping's supposed to be fun and easy. Our goal is to make it that way. So take care, have fun, happy camping, everyone.